Hey my little puppies, it's Girl here, back in another video, and today I am back playing The Sims 4. So, today I'm doing another Korea Sim, and this time I'm doing a Good Witch vs. Bad Witch Create a Sim. So basically, since Halloween is right around the corner, uh, I wanted to make some witches. So today I'm making a, a Bad Witch and a Good Witch. Before I get into it, I just want to give a little disclaimer that a lot of things went wrong in this video, but I wanted to post it anyway, so yeah. So, well, we are starting off creating the Bad Witch. So, I forgot to make the Bad Witch a, a spellcaster, so she's technically not really a witch, but we can just pretend the Good Witch is a natural spellcaster, but the Bad Witch is not because I forgot. Anyways, um, it took me a while to get the face right on the Bad Witch. It's, I don't know, I just kept like changing things around in the face and I don't know, I was never like completely happy with it. And yeah, it just took me a while to get a result that I was actually happy with. But in the end, her face turned out okay. <laughs> so I gave her purple eyes because I think that's really cool. And I tried to make her eyebrows look like kind of angry, not like to an extreme, but just like a little bit. I gave her some dark makeup. She has some like black eyeshadow, um, some darker blush and a brownish lipstick. And she also has a mole next to her lips. And um, do you guys remember with Get Famous, we got these like scars that you could put on their Sims face. And I thought that was perfect for the Bad Witch. So I gave her like this big scar that's like around her eye. And then I started looking for a hair. Um, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to go for. So here's the thing, before making this video, um, I had like the perfect image in my head for the good witch, but I didn't have that with the bad witch, so I was just kind of going through and just choosing what I thought looked good because I didn't really have an image in my head of her. But I ended up going with this like long, dark brown hair that's kind of wavy. And then I gave her a witch hat because of course we're making witches, you have to have the witch hat. Now I downloaded some different witch hats. Um, I downloaded one that I wanted to use on the bad witch and I downloaded one that I wanted to use on the good witch. So the one that I wanted to use on the bad witch was a lot bigger than I was expecting and kind of covers a little bit of her face. Not that much, but a little bit. But yeah, it was a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be, but I went with it anyway. And then here's when things went wrong. I started making her outfit. So basically, I downloaded a lot of new stuff before I made this video, so I was prepared. And I downloaded a couple things for the Bad Witch, I downloaded this skirt that I thought I could pair with a cute top, and I downloaded this like Halloween-y dress. Now at first I was gonna go with the dress, and it had a lot of Halloween-y like swatches and stuff, and a lot of them were too cute. So I went with this one that like had a bunch of skulls on it, and then I was trying to put an undershirt underneath it, but the undershirt didn't go to like a complete deep black like the like, dress swatch was in. So it didn't really look right and I kept changing around the colors and then I just ditched the undershirt. And then I started playing around with like gloves and leggings and I just couldn't make the outfit work. So then I decided to go back to the skirt that I downloaded for this outfit and I tried a bunch of different tops to try to get it to look good and nothing looked right. I tried on a million different tops and it just took me forever. So I actually ended up doing something that I was not expecting to do. I ended up using this very witchy dress that came with Realm of Magic. I wasn't expecting to use anything from like the game but uh, that's what I ended up going for. I think it looks a lot better than the outfits I was trying to create beforehand. So yeah, I went with that and then the outfit kind of fell into place. I uh, gave her some like short black gloves, some black leggings, and some tall black boots that I believe came with spooky stuff. And then that was her look complete. She does not look how I was expecting her to look, but I actually like how she turned out. She's very witchy. 
So I randomized some names a few times because I did not know what to name her. And they came out with Scarlet. So that's what I went for. And I just made both of the witches last name Witch because I didn't know what else to do. And then she has the Public Enemy Aspiration. And her traits are Evil, Hates Children, and Hot-Headed. So then I started creating um, the Good Witch. Now the Good Witch caused me a lot of trouble also. So, um, similar situation with the Bad Witch, I could not get her face right. Like, I was not in the groove for making Sims today. I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, but, like, some days I'm, like, in the groove and, like, making tons of really cute Sims. But then other days, I just can't get them to look right. And this is one of those days. The Good Witch actually caused me a lot more trouble than the Bad Witch. I went for this preset, which I think was the mistake. And I tried changing it up a little bit. And I don't know what it is. But I couldn't get it right. No matter what I did, no matter how much I changed the face, it did not look right. It just was not looking like one of my sims. And I changed it around a lot. And I just couldn't get it right. So eventually I just kind of settled for something. And I still don't think it looks right. But you know what? Whatever. It's fine. Anyway, she has some pretty blue eyes and some light makeup. And I gave her this really pretty hair that I found. It's like long and it has some braids and it's super pretty. And this hair actually comes with some little flower accessories that can go in her hair, but they count as a hat. So I couldn't give them to her because I needed to give her a witch hat. So that was really sad. I really wanted to give her some flowers in her hair, but it's fine. Um, So the witch hat I downloaded for the good witch was this really cool witch hat that had flowers on it, and I thought it was perfect. But, guess what? The witch hat did not come in a white swatch. There were like green swatches, brown swatches, black swatches, but no white swatch. So, um, you know, I just kind of went for the black one and then started creating the outfit. Now, the outfit did not actually cause me trouble with the good witch because I had an image in my mind. I knew exactly what I wanted to give her. It still didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, but you know, it still turned out good. So I gave her this like white long sleeved shirt and to go along with it, um, I downloaded this like really interesting kind of thing. So it's like these sh shorts, but it has this like long skirt like thing on top of it. And it's really long and it's see-through. It's very interesting, but I thought it was really pretty. So I went with that and I put some white leggings under it, but this witch hat was just not looking right. And if it had a white swatch, it would have been perfect, but it didn't. So I had to change it. I had to go with the same witch hat that the bad witch hat, and I put that in white. Um, I think it would have looked a whole lot better if I could use the other witch hat, but I couldn't, so I may do. And that was the Good Witch's look complete. So I ended up naming the Good Witch Athena because I think that's a super pretty name. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this voiceover here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments who is your favorite sim that I made today, the Good Witch Athena or the Bad Witch Scarlet. And now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.